Way to Grow is brought to you by Lacoste Garden Center, located at 2787 St. Mary's Road. Finding shade growing perennials is one of the trickiest things to do and our gardening expert Dwayne Friesen always is asked this question. Welcome to Way to Grow. My name is Laura Ravy. You're talking about shade perennials and these are your favorites. These are some of my favorites and, and like you said I'm asked that question and uh, but after this many years of doing this I should have an answer for you and, and I do come back to a few plants and I thought that maybe the viewers would like to see some of the pics that I, I, I try and gauge who the shopper is and see where they're going to be at their experience level and, and these plants everyone can grow so if you're dealing with a first-time gardener if you've just got some challenges in your yard these plants will probably work out in your shade situations and by shade I mean uh, very little sun or morning sun only I'm not talking about afternoon sun or areas where you get more than six hours of sunlight those are so going to be a, key. those are going to be what okay. we call shade areas uh, and uh, I've got a few plants here. This isn't all of them, but like, like I said, but this is going to be a good representation of some of the easiest ones to grow. And uh, I'm just going to start off with one right in the middle, hosta. Everybody knows about the hosta. Uh, beautiful plant. You're growing it for its foliage with these leaves. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of different types of hostas available, different leaves. They do give you some flowers, but they're really not relevant to the beauty of the plant. It's the leaves you're going for and they'll give you different colors of leaves, they'll give you different shapes of leaves, they can give you more puckered leaves, more straight leaves, some are twisty leaves, um, some are thicker leaves, some are blue leaves, some are yellow leaves, some are mixtures of, of green and yellow or all yellow. It's just it's endless the possibilities and they're just elegant beautiful plants to have in your garden. So hostas is one, may, some people might say overused, I don't care, they're worth it. They're nice to have and they're easy to grow. And they look gorgeous, these colors yeah. alone. Yeah. I mean, shade or not, they're beautiful plants. And, and you'll notice when we move into sun areas, there'll be a different focus on here. When we're going in the shade, we're dealing mostly with foliage plants, mm -hmm. what kind of colors you get off the foliage. With the exception of this guy here, a still bee. Um, this is one of the plants that gives you a really good show in the shade. Nice spike of flowers on here. I like the dark glossy green foliage uh, on this one and uh, there's going to be other varieties and lots of different colors. Um, the white ones can actually give you some great fragrance uh, off of them that you can smell many many feet away you'll smell those. So still be is another one and they go in good combination with hostas. Very vertical here. Mm -hmm nice mounding layered form here. So they look can, nice together too. Yeah, they look yeah. great together. And this one you were saying was one of your personal favorites. This is one of yeah. my personal favorites and uh, this one is called uh, Bugbane or semi suffuga and it's for the shade. It'll give you a green to a burgundy color leaf on it uh, and there's different varieties in here too that you can get different shades of burgundy on it. Um, but it is going to be tall, four or five feet tall, but not wide. So it doesn't take up a lot of space in the garden, but you get a tall vertical you can see a flower developing there. That will only bloom in late August. It's going to be a long time coming for that guy. Uh, but the flower is, again, irrelevant. It's the form and shape that this uh, plant takes. It'll be elegant. It's just a beautiful plant coming up out of the background of your other plants. Elegant layered look to it with nice foliage on it. It's, it's a winner. It's a stunner when you have it in the garden. And ferns, who could, everyone thinks of ferns when you think of the shade, right? Yeah, ferns, uh, that's probably where most people go is uh, ferns with that. And we've got a lot more ferns available to us uh, now than ever before through the different breeding and, and uh, just discoveries. We can get different ferns. Native fern here, tall fern, um, grows like crazy, gives you nice tall heights, about four feet. Uh, they will spread. Uh, send up suckers, new plants coming up all over so that you've got one, you'll have more in a few years. And they come up quite early too, don't they? And they'll come yeah. up early, yeah. They'll give Which you your nice. fiddleheads if you like eating them. Yeah. Fiddleheads uh, there. But then we've got, I, I have to include these two. Um, there's a male and a female fern. Okay. And they're very, very similar kind of in shape and form. You can see there are some differences in there. But I had to include these just because one day a customer came up to me holding both of them. And she said, I've got a male fern and a female fern, a uh, lady fern. What's the difference? And before I could answer, she asked seriously, and it was so good, she said, is the female fern, or the lady fern, cleaner? 
<laughs> and I, 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 ch oh, what do you, how do you answer that? Yes, it is cleaner. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I thought it was great. Um, and uh, so there are the ferns there, but there's going to be Japanese painted fern, give you more of a silvery look, and there's going to be a cinnamon fern, more reddish looks to fall, different ferns to choose from the, but these are easy ones to grow. Last one is uh, the heuchera or coral bells. Uh, kind of a, a little bit related to the hosta, not, not plant-wise, but just in form and how you'd use it with the nice big leaves on it. Flowers, it will get white flowers, kind of irrelevant to the beauty of the plant. It's the nice form and the dark leaves of it. It's beautiful. Uh, it's really modern looking. Yeah. If someone wants something different than yeah. the typical kind of marigold and all that, this is a great plant. Yeah. It's so unique. And there are other heucheras or coral bells. I, I think the black ones, the darker ones, are going to be your best bet as far as ease of growth, hardiness. There are green varieties that will give you much more showy flowers, striking flowers that uh, when I was a child, you know, that would be something that my mom would have had. They've gone out of fashion to the leaf color. They're starting to come back in, going back to the flower on the green varieties. But the, these are be kind of my top picks for the shade. Easy to grow if you get them. You'll have some great plants in the shade that anyone can grow. Well, they look fantastic. Thanks so much.